dual winner on the ladies european tour stacy keating jumped out of the blocks very quickly on round one and she managed a birdie on the 14th hole to go to two under par Well, a couple of drop shots since then, but Stacey Keating, the 26-year-old, here she is on the 18th, her approach. Beautifully executed shot, playing with the great Kari Webb, and she holds that birdie putt to move to four under par. Kari Webb, a splendid year, though non-winning on the LPGA Tour last year, looking for title number eight in form early. To a player who feels very at home here in Australia, the reigning Australian Open champion, Jessica Corder. Now, this for a birdie at the first. Oh, yes, a Julie in the back of the cup. She started on the 10th, moved to four under. It was a methodical rather than spectacular round from Kari Webb, playing in reverse order. This was a birdie at the second. Beautifully hold, Kari Webb. Jessica Corder, one of the longest players out here this week. This is the par five. This is actually for an eagle for Corder. Ooh, just shaved the hole. But she went on to make birdie and moved to five under par. Outright leader. Now, Belen Motho was suffering from a nasal complaint, which inconvenienced her round. Nonetheless, the putter was working this to take her to four under par. And the ninth hole was Jessica Calder's final hole in this opening round at Royal Pines. This was for a birdie at the ninth. Oh, well, it wasn't meant to be, but it was still tapped in the par part for an exquisite round of 67 to take the outright lead in the clubhouse. The shot of the day came from the pre-tournament favourite, So Yon Yu, this at the 10th hole, her second shot. Eyeing it down, almost holding out. And now to the Irish-born American, Alison Walsh. Well, she crept up the leaderboard insidiously on a Friday, went about her business in a very calm, collected fashion and in the afternoon to challenge the leaders. And this was her shot on the third hole. And this for the birdie putt. Took her to five under par. Well, the morning may have been all Jessica Corder. Compatriot Alison Walsh matched her bogey-free round to charge up the leaderboard in the afternoon and take the overnight lead. Motho, Keating, Carter and Shishuang sat in a share of third after rounds of 68, with another three just one shot further back. Seven-time Ladies Masters winner Kari Webb just four shots off the pace after the opening round.